Hi Merkin, I'm home. What has been going on here? I'm going to pretend I didn't see this. Hello, Major Age and we're into June now. So I've dressed very sedately and, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're off. I've sped this up very slightly as normal. Just, well, no, this bit's even faster because I'm going through the collection at three times speed. Gold pickaxe, dripstone block, diamond pickaxe, so we're going underground. Glowstone, four lots of nether gold ore, and some nether quartz ore, so we're going into the nether. A lead, a compass, and an iron axe. Oh, I think I'm going adventuring. <laughs> right, yeah, back to the bit where I've only sped it up a little. Now, we've been given a trident, so I'm trying it out. Uh, apparently it's a trident that explodes when it hits blocks, but yes, yeah, like that. The problem is going to be missing the mob that you're shooting at, but um, making it land in the ground near enough so that the explosion catches them. And that's going to definitely be a problem for me. Um, let's try again. Piggies, I'm going to hit pig. Yes, of course I am. I always hit. <laughs> if, I, if I try to miss, I'll actually hit. There we go. I finally exploded something. So, yes, I've got a fair few little um, piggy steaks in the, um, in the hole that I made. Well, five, anyway. Ah, right. Well, that tells you something about the ice platform method of getting up into the sky. No passengers allowed. Only you. <laughs> right. I want to get started on the game. Of course, we've got the annoyance of these little endermites has stayed with us. Because they're a permanent feature. And one thing I probably didn't really appreciate, but Ed told us fairly clearly, was that all of the special mob drops from May have continued on into June and in the future. Um, so if you kill um, an endermite, for example, you'll get amethyst shards and um, and everything else is the same. And in fact, he's given a, a little link you can click on in the chat as you, every time you go to the crystal ball I think it is or maybe it's only at the beginning of games and um, that will remind you of what all the special drops were I was a bit dumb and didn't even um, click on that link until after I finished this game I, I relied on my memory of what things were the special drops but um yeah, I, there could have been many other ones that I'd never even discovered in May. <laughs> and and here he was telling me exactly what they all were. And I was ignoring it until afterwards. And then I went in just to make sure. Right, what am I doing? I'm, I'm being a good boy and making all of the usual tools. But the problem is, inventory space, inventory space when you've been given one more item to hold in that trident. That trident's really useful. I mean, you've been given a weapon. So you can go into your spell selection and decide that you don't want any weapon type uh, spells this week. And that's what I've done this week, really. I mean, what with the... Okay, I've got Revealing, Ice, Slowness, Telekinesis, Water. You can use Ice and Water and, I suppose, Telekinesis uh, as, as weapons. And um, But 
my my real weapon is going to be the trident. I am I am going to use it for melee. I'm going to use it at ranged, which I suppose gives you a little bit more freedom to have the um, the other five well the five spells made up of things that you would normally not be able to choose all of because you you'd always reserve one slot for a weapon um, and you don't need to do that anymore okay what's going on I'm I'm not collecting anything I'm making a start now my means of traveling around as you can see are going to be um, the ice platform and telekinesis way of flying up into the air and then slowness for gliding down but also slight slowness is is okay for just bouncing your way around the the um, the, the terrain I do like whoa there's a dragon I do like the slowness for dropping carefully on top of trees if that's what you want to do you know me i like to be on a treetop one month ed's going to make something that deliberately makes it dangerous to be on treetops just to just to um to tell people like me who think always find a place of safety that we've got to find a new place <laughs> Maybe. One day. Right. Well, there's a village over there. I can see the top of a house. So, I think that's where I'm heading for. I'm running past lots of flowers, but I don't believe there's anything that I need to have coloured in in this week's collection. See, you get these little endermites. They're annoying, but... I don't think I'm going to get killed by one. Not unless I'm on very low health already. Whoa, I decided to try and use the water. <laughs> water ball. And fly my way along the landscape. But it was just a one-off trial. I'm, I'm not sure I even... Ouch, I just run into an end of mine. Not even... Oh, look, look. This it's It's not an ordinary village. Ah, I've blocked off the end of my with ice, so he, hopefully he can't see me and therefore doesn't know how to pathfind to me. But yeah, yes, look, it's a it's a zombie village, and actually that is a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Did I? Hmm. Oh yes, I do need string. I need string, and I realised it at the time, um, because um, we need to make a lead. And you make a lead of string and a slime ball. Okay, so I'm. I had to make a an extra tool. One more thing to clog up my inventory. Um, the uh, the sword because you're not getting um, the string down with telekinesis I did try it just for a moment but I should have known better you can't do that it it completely ignores it completely ignores um, cobwebs right uh, I've spotted a look Ah, I'm being chased by a uh, um, baby zombie, but I was being, I've seen this ruined portal and I've got away from the baby zombie and I'm going to attempt my flying skills. Ta-da! Land right on top of it. So, well, the baby zombie can't get me, but I'm sure any skeletons in the neighbourhood would be able to give me a, a bit of a problem. But whoa! So I'm I'm trying my trident out. And ouch! I blew up that chest completely. So anything that's in it is just spilled out all over the place. Right. 
I'm aware that by doing this, I'm just injuring zombies. Hey, I, I finally killed the baby zombie that started the whole problem off. Um, yeah. I'm attracting every other zombie in the neighbourhood to come and have a look what's going on. Right. Ah, gold. Yes. Now, gold I do need. Um, there's a gold axe that I've got to make. But um, the main purpose of being here by the ruined portal was to get the uh, obsidian from it. Because I can go to the nether. I mean, there's, there's obviously, there are obviously other ways of, um, of getting obsidian. Uh, it's pretty easy. I've got telekinesis. I've got water. If I found a lava pool, I could just dump the water on there. And um, I'd be... Oh no, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Insta-death. Right, yeah, that was me misclicking. I managed to... I've done that before, haven't I? I was trying to, to use a spell to get myself up in the air and out of trouble. And I, instead of casting that spell, I locked it in place. And so the creeper walked up, tapped him on the shoulder and said, You're dead, matey. Right, but in all of this, I've been going about 15 minutes and I haven't made a single item yet, so there's the gold pickaxe. One item done, ta -ra. Right, I've got the string, and if I, can get, if I can get a slime ball from a creeper, because that was one of the special drops of last month, um, then I can <laughs> make the lead that I need. So I'm... I'm trying to miss the creeper, but hit the ground so close to his feet that he blows up. And I'm failing conspicuously here. Yes, I'm just making more and more holes in the ground. Oh, did he get hurt by that last one? I don't think he even did. And he's, he's wandered off. He's out of sight now. Right, is there another creeper? Yeah, look, there's another one. This one's closer. Give him a try. Oh, I hit him smack on. Hit him on the chin. And again. You are so accurate when you don't want to be. <laughs> and then I exploded. Yeah, I'm sure he's quite damaged. And he, he may well be dead now. So down we run, taking our life in our hands to see whether he's dropped anything. And he's dropped... Oh, he has. He has dropped a slime ball. Yay. I've got what I needed. Oops, that was not what you wanted to do. No, that is not. That's a. That's not a, an ice platform. I wanted to make an ice platform and fly up into the air using telekinesis. But instead I made a sort of minimalistic ice wall in the ground. And, um, and dug it up. Not not the smartest of moves. So I was obviously suffering a few um, <laughs> coordinational errors at this time. But there you go. I've made my lead. And that's my second item done. So, you need to get moving. Are you ready to go to the nether? That's the question. Or do you want to do something different first? I think probably at this moment my problem is I haven't got anything to light a portal with. Um, and I do need iron for other things. I need iron for making a compass. I need four, four pieces of iron uh, for that. I need uh, three more for making an iron axe. They're in the collection. Um, hey, look at that. Nailed it. <laughs> Flew right down here into this ravine where there might be some iron. <laughs> I'm going to light it up using the old revealing. Do you remember that? Revealing casts a succession of of uh, lanterns and you can you can cast them. Look, there's, there's more iron. I found iron. How much iron have I found? One. <laughs> That's not good. And it's right by this huge lava flow. I bet there's five more iron underneath the lava. I've not even looked back at it. I've just flown off. 
Right, I want to explore the rest of this ravine because I'm convinced there must be some more iron down here. There's copper. And to be honest, where do you find iron nowadays in 118 plus? Um, iron seems to be fairly common at ground level, at um, sea level, I suppose you'd call it. And not the deeper and deeper you get. Yeah, you do find it down everywhere, but yeah, the, it's most prevalent up about sea level, I think. Okay, we've broken through into another part of this ravine system. And I'm lighting it up, but still not seeing any iron. Oh, more copper. I'm worried. I think I'm going to be attacked. You're always forgetting that you're an all-powerful mage. I suppose as mages go, I'm not very good at using the spells to defend myself with. I should remember that you can block them off with ice, lift them up with telekinesis, slow them down. There's all kinds of things you can do, but in the heat of the moment, these kind of things never occur to me. And I just run. Can't see any iron. Running backwards and forwards like a... a poor explorer. Right, you're going to have to jump down this next bit, aren't you? Yeah, I've, I've already been here. Did you not just already run down here? Yeah, this week I've not taken blink, so I can't do the night vision trick. Um, but, yeah, revealing to light things up, that's fine. Right, had enough of it, that ravine. I don't know why I didn't look any further down the other end of it, but I, I just got sick of tediously exploring a ravine. And I've gone way up into the sky. Hey, to float down. And evidently, I'm still after the same kind of thing. I, I need iron. Now, there's a nice lava pond. But I've already got my... Uh, obsidian now, so no point in getting that. Um, I think you've already seen this river. <laughs> this looks very much like one that you've already been down. Yeah, no. I'll fly away again. Okay, now what about under the water? If if you get iron at sea level. You could look in the river, couldn't you? Those stone beaches are very good. But we haven't got any of those near here. Not that I've seen, anyway. Look, I've gone and stood on this, and that's that's some um, gravel. And gravel is not what you want, because you've already got your flint for making a flint and steel. And so that's a waste of time. Right. I think I need to go towards one of those nice rock surfaces and see if there's any iron on there. Oh, ah, nasty little thingy. Okay, I've killed the nasty little thingy. But for some reason it spooked me and I've gone running off instead of looking up at the uh, stone surface. There's another stone surface. This one looks promising. In fact, does it go down? Yes, it does. It's a hole. And it's dripstone down there. Right, let's go and have a look at this. But we'll see that next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.